Uh, Tom Keneally, what attracted you to Asmara and your novel to Asmara? I wanted to write uh, about the war in East Africa and the way it helped drive the famine. At the height of the famine, uh, the what, what we think of inevitably in the, the West as the Bob Geldof famine, uh, Ethiopia was conducting a war against Eritrea. The aid agencies couldn't tell us this for fear that we'd stop giving what the people of Ethiopia needed. But during that war, the Ethiopians' own government were buying armaments to use against a people in the uh, north of the country called the Eritreans. Now, the Eritrean war was a massive war, massive casualties, uh, the biggest battles in, since World War II, and uh, no, they were totally unreported. No one knew about them. So I went there, you had to go in, it was like traveling in the 19th century, you had to go in by truck, and then you traveled only at night, you had no fax, you had no phone, and uh, I told the story of a uh, uh, Westerner caught in this extraordinary war between Eritrea and Ethiopia with a remarkable rebel people who made a huge impression on him and in fact through whom he basically redeems himself. Great. Uh, Paul Andrews, why do you think this will translate to the screen 30 years on? Well, first of all, um, obviously I'm working with Tom on some other projects. Um, Tom's um, favourite topic and my favourite topic happens to be the same thing. Um, I think we both agree that we're very uh, keen on historical drama and conflict and uh, endeavour from individual people. Uh, this is the book that Tom wrote back in, was it 1990? 89, 89. 90, yeah. Um, and, you know, we're, we're doing a, a movie, um, a big epic movie about the Irish potato famine. Um, Tom wrote a book called Three Famines, which included the famine in Ethiopia, Ireland and the Sudan. And um, I wanted to do another movie um, in Africa. Um, I've seen the movies Last King of Scotland, Hotel Rwanda, um, uh, Blood Diamond, um, and there have been other movies um, that have been set in Africa, and I thought it would contrast very well with the American movie. We're doing American Scoundrel, based on another book by uh, Tom, um, with the, the Irish famine. And it was an opportunity to do a different type of film from the other two, in that this is about four very, very different characters. Um, that it would attract top actors wanting to play these characters. You have a French girl that's had her own tragedy, trauma, who's escaping from London, and we find out later what that's going to be. I won't reveal that now, because I don't want to spoil the screenplay. Um, she meets up with the Australian lead character, Darcy, who has his own escapism. And there are two other main characters, uh, Lady Julia, who is a, a feminist in her 60s, and um, a, an American aid worker called Henry. And they all come together, or thrown together, in this amazing journey through war-torn Eritrea. And they meet a people, and they're in search of this enigmatic, mysterious French photographer who himself is escaping his life and his own daughter by being on the front um, as a war uh, as a war photographer, um, and it's the coming of age of this lead character mm -hmm. Darcy. Um, it's the reuniting of um, the French uh, young French woman with her estranged father. It's the um, realization of Henry 